basically, as a writer, you have to determine one thing. What works for you and what works with your audience in mind. Because I'm a real big fan of, if you're going to do anything like this, you have to know your audience. You've got to know exactly who you are writing this for. You gotta know exactly who you're submitting this to. And if you do not do your homework on that, if you do not do your research or whatnot, you're not going to succeed. So then you're writing for everyone? Like you say you have to know your audience, but you just said you want your work to be universal. Well, it, it's universal if, 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 if it succeeds or not. If it succeeds, then it's universal. So if you do that it well, of, you'll be writing for everyone? More or less. Okay. It, Bugs Bunny cartoons. Yeah. Okay, they're written for kids, right? Yeah. Do just kids write, you know, watch them? No. They're layered in such a way that as an adult you can appreciate it too. You know, Roadrunner. It, Roadrunner. You know, there's a lot of jokes in there. Where the kids will get the slapstick, but we as adults, we, we identify with Wile E. Coyote. And go, ah, that, that, that's, that's my, you know, that's my, that's my drive from Wisconsin to Duluth today. You know, the Batman TV show. Oh, boy. When I saw that kid, I, I did not catch any of the sexual innuendo. That was mentioned. I mean, there's lots of it. And it's like, oh, okay. You know, but as an adult, you know, you watch, you know, Nick and I go, oh, that's what you meant, you sly little devil. All right, Batman's got it going. But you know, it, it's it's different worlds. You know, and that's just, you know, Batman may have been a cheesy show in the 1960s, but still watched today. You know, it it, it survived better than Hazel. They had an Academy Award and actress in it. You guys know about the TV show Hazel? Know about Batman though? Well, Batman won. Yes. It's 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 kind of a marriage of the two. Um, I will sit down. I first I determine what my premise is. Can I tell the story in two sentences or less? Star Wars, you can say in two sentences or less. The premise of Star Wars is the knight in shining armor saves the princess and slays the dragon. Literally, everything in that movie goes back to that. Luke discovers she's there, he goes, rescues her, comes back, blows up the Death Star. Kind of simplistic way of looking at it, but everything that's goes back to that. Uh, then I figure out my plot points. What gets the action started, what leads up to the end of the action. Not the climax itself, but leads to the end of action. And then within that frame, I put in everything else to make sure it makes logical sense. And then during the production process or through the read through process, I tweak that. So it, it, it's, it's very regimented and spontaneous at the same time. And my audience may change a little bit with that in mind. But I usually have a pretty fair idea, such with children's plays, what age group I'm going to center around, and then it, it goes around there. So over here I write something so the adults make sense, because I know adults have to take kids to plays. Kids don't still worry themselves, so I have to make it attain for the adults too.